Hello, this is Steve Malone with Comps of X. Hope you're doing well today and getting some good trades. There are many traders out there who try to determine how far a trade will go and try to calculate the potential distance or uh, trying to find some target out in space as to where it's going to go. And some traders, when they start out, they anticipate the potential move. Or for some traders, a whole lot of traders, they really don't know. And so what I want to share with folks today, I've been asked if I would share what are some of the tools that I've used and I continue to use to help me determine where the market's going to go. Now I'm not talking about deciding which direction, I'm just saying that once it picks a direction, how far could it potentially go? And there are three tools that I suggest that folks consider using and I want to cover those today. First is the pivot tool. And Pivot's been around for a number of years. The Pivot in and of itself is a fulcrum of bias. If the market trades above the, the Pivot, then we look for a long bias. If the market trades below the Pivot, we look for a short bias or a push to the downside. The Pivot is a pretty simple formula. It's yesterday's open, high, low, close average, or just simply the high, low, and close average. That gives us that level. And as we've seen today, it oftentimes the market will dance around the pivot before finally making some movement. So in the European session overnight, we saw some movement up to the R1 level, and then the market moved up to the R2 level, then finally moved up to the R3. Traders today were anticipating a move about to this level here, and then the market pulled back. But with higher lows right here, this is usually a sign of continuation, kind of gave us an ascending triangle pattern here and the market pushed on up to the R3. Now what if the market pushes up higher? Well we really don't have anything above that level there uh, to uh, based upon the pivots but it's sitting right now at the R3. Now I don't use pivots as much as I used to. Uh, pivots are used widely uh, among uh, a number of traders but what I found is if we really focus our attention on the average daily range that oftentimes we can actually have even a better a potential target. So if we look at the euro dollar using the average daily range calculator by Compass FX, we see today that the market danced around the uh, weekly mid low, then pushed up to the weekly mid high, and then settled out today right at the weekly high. Now, if we continue having higher lows here, even though the TDI is coming back right here, the Traders Dynamic Index, it might come back, and if it comes back towards the 50 level, but settles right there and doesn't drop any further and price maintains these higher lows we've been getting then there's the possibility it pushes on up. Well, where to? Well the possibility of moving up to the first extension high for the week which is sitting up around 3240. If it pushes up higher I've got other levels all the way up to about 3336 for what we expect for the week and these levels are drawn out at the first of the week so right from Sunday night or Monday morning, whichever is the fit for you, depending on where you live in the world, then you have these levels laid out for you and you can see how the market just kind of started its move today. We started its, its move and it just gradually worked its way up level to level to level after finally breaking above the weekly mid-low. Now another tool that I have a lot of folks using that have some decent success with it is the dots method. Now the dots method takes the average daily range into its calculations and it also looks to see if the market is expanding or contracting. And the beautiful thing is is it not only gives you target levels to where it could potentially go, it also gives you levels to enter the market. So this morning as I was doing a bit of training in a trade room, I had these levels of the buy entry was 3140. So at 8 a.m. Eastern this morning, we already had that level. Also, we had a buy stop loss that the market did not move down to. So when the market came up here, tested it, pushed down, tested again, pushed down, but with the higher lows, it pushed on up. And so we had a nice little trade here from 3140 on up. Now for those trading during the European session, let me just show you real quickly. Had you traded during the European session, I have the settings for it. Let me just put those on. And you'll see that the levels will change. So for those traders who were trading in the European session, you can see here that at the start of the European session here, we actually had a sell entry and look what it did. It went right down to a target. Then it pushed back up, settled around the 
open of that session, the white line, then pushed on up. And it had a buy entry level telling you where to enter the market at, at 3096, and then it pushed on up to its target of 3134 before leveling off. And this move did not take place until the US session. And then at that point, you would move the dots levels. Let me just show you again here. And on that update, we were told a level and the level to where it went to. This happens over and over again in the marketplace. Sometimes we have some really strong moves in one particular pair. Sometimes we don't. My point is, if you can determine those potential levels logically ahead of time, you as a trader can become more confident in the possibility of the market getting there. Now, to learn more about the average daily range, simply go to www.compassfx.com forward slash ADR. And for those of y'all interested in the DOTS method, I'd strongly recommend you go over and take a look at www.compassfx.com forward slash DOTS and learn more about this particular method. The beautiful thing about DOTS, it can be used with any trading model that you're already using. It just gives you additional confirmation as potential entries, exits, and targets as you trade. Well, that kind of wraps it up for me today. Just letting you know that there are tools. You decide which tool works best for you. Pivots, average daily range, or the dots method to help you determine those targets that are out there. Long story short, if you as a trader know where these levels are, as you trade, you gain better confidence and you have a better understanding of the likelihood of the market. Y'all make it a great day. Get some good trades. We'll talk to you next time. Bye-bye.